Well, now that the trick-or-treating is over, parents are dealing with the abundance of candy in their homes. But a West Michigan dentist office is offering to buy all that candy back and to send it to troops overseas. Chrissy Longacre from Dr. Susan Dennis's dentist office is here to tell us more about the Halloween candy buyback program. And we also are joined by Queen Elsa this morning. What an honor. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you for having us. Uh, first of all, happening all day long this Wednesday, you give t kids a little time to decide what they want, what they don't want, to come to terms with parting with some of that candy. Um, what usually takes place at the buyback? It's a ton of fun. Parents, kids, everyone comes in. They donate all of their unwanted candy. Uh, we pay a dollar per pound. And kids also get entered to win an iPod Touch. And then we have an area set up so they can send thank yous to the troops. That is so cool. Are you going to participate, Queen Elsa? Yeah, I already made this card she that I'm going to You already made in. a card? So is this something you do every year? Yeah. What, what do you have to do? Do you have to go through your candy and decide what you want, or what do you, what do, you do? We usually um, just um, go through our candy and um, divide them out to two groups, the group that you don't want and the group that you do want, and then send the ones that you don't want to the troops. Because what you don't want, a troop may really, really like, right? So why let good candy go to waste? Right? Exactly. Right. Good for you for giving back. Now, you were saying, parents, kids, everyone's welcome to bring that candy in. Yes. And uh, Dr. Dennis has been doing this since 2011, mm -hmm. and we've donated almost 700 pounds of candy with, with her office alone. That's amazing. Yeah. So what group do you guys give the candy to to get it out to the troops? It's through Operation Gratitude, mm -hmm. and they give the candy to the wounded warriors, the troops, and their families. So that is a great, great way to give back. Um, I'm trying to think what else we need to know here. A buck per pound. Yes. How many pounds do you usually get in on an annual basis? Oh, gosh. One year, they got close to 300 pounds of candy. In one year? In one year. Yes, in one day. Can you give me an idea of how much candy makes up a pound? It's, it's a lot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a lot. I can't even yeah. imagine how and many pieces of candy. Being a dental office, of course, we want to increase awareness about cavities. Mm -hmm. um, ca cavities is actually the number one childhood illness. Yeah. So we see a lot of kids with cavities. So, you know, having a treat every now and then is fine, right. but we really don't need that much candy. You don't need that many pounds of candy in your home at any given time. Are there any candies in particular that kids should maybe stay away from because they put them at a bigger risk? Yeah, especially the sticky candies, the ones okay. that get stuck in the teeth hard to clean those will cause cavities caramel quick. those caramel? sugar babies yes. yes caramel apple pops and what's your favorite candy queen Elsa I like the Hershey's bars the Hershey's I bars I always brush my teeth after oh listen to you good job she's my trained mom. yeah <laughs> well trained she wouldn't let you go without right yeah well perfect and you said trick-or-treating went well for you this year so you should have plenty of candy to get back before I went trick-or-treating with my dad. So you were collecting all around. Once again, that's taking place this Wednesday, 7.30 a.m., 5 p.m., paying $1 per pound for all that leftover candy, and it's going to troops overseas. Great cause. And thank you so much for being in, in this morning, and thanks for uh, putting on your costume again. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> Let's go over.